How much fun is it for you to always come back here? Uh, it's always a lot of fun, uh, you know, just especially with the new track here they have. I mean, I never enjoyed playing on the AstroTurf, but to be back on this new track and, uh, you know, always playing against some good old friends here is always a good time. Uh, it may not emotionally be the same as it was in the past, but uh, again, this is always a big game. It's a tough atmosphere to come to a win, and, you know, anytime a team can come into this atmosphere like a, a few other places across this league and, and are able to get a victory, that, that's really achieving something. You talked about it's already a big game. This West is already crazy. These mm -hmm. 2 and 0, a couple 1 and 0 teams, it's already big. Yeah, I mean, uh, and that's tr truly what we expected coming into this year as far as how the West would be. I mean, it would be pretty much stacked over here. I mean, it'd be a traffic jam from start to finish, and pretty much who could put together the most road wins would pretty much take it. And uh, I mean, here's our first test, and uh, what better place to come than the Taylor Field, the toughest place to play in in the West, and, and uh, with their fan base. So, hey, we're gonna have right now we have cards stacked up against us, and uh, let's see if we can uh, pull out all all aces. What's the, where are you guys in the offense right now? How is it how is it progressing? Is it, is it, is it a slow process, or is it how is it going? I think this came along smoothly because uh, you know we we kind of had somewhat of the same offense, but the teaching's been a lot different this year. Uh, we focused in a lot more on details, and uh, again, we are working with George, who, who handles directly on the on the passing side of things and works with myself uh, as far as all the quarterbacks and the skill position. So uh, you, you see things uh, much more in sync as far as in the passing game, whereas in the past, you know, the running game was definitely there, uh, but again, the passing game was just too inconsistent. But, uh, when you have the offensive coordinator working directly with you, it has a tendency to speed up that learning curve for all of us, and I think that's what's taking place right now. You ran for almost 100 yards last week. Are you comfortable being a running quarterback if you have to be? Uh, actually, it surprised me. I only had about 50, 60 yards, and uh, you know, I got to thank uh, a few guys in, in, in stats uh, put, adding an extra 40 yards there for me. Uh, you know, took them to, out to eat the Knicks the other night, so uh, I know they appreciate that, and I appreciate it. But 99 yards was a shocker for me because I, I never thought I could rush for, for that many yards. But hey, I did, and uh, you know, if a team gives me the opportunity to do it again, I'll definitely take advantage of it. It's making it tough to play. Uh, Two weeks ago in a, essentially a means nothing game and you're not showing your good stuff and now you got to come here you know 14 days later and play for real well uh, i guess that uh you know uh spending the many years and, and i guess just having the opportunity to experience the first and the second preseason game and knowing the fact that you got to come here two weeks uh, later you just kind of you know go with what you're given and uh you keep things uh, fairly vanilla uh, but they did a good job of what they they brought to the table they executed well we didn't execute well and uh you know made some adjustments and akili and the guys in the second half did a great job uh, but again, you know, we have to come out here and be able to execute from start to finish. And uh, I think the best part about it was good to come here, experience a new track, uh, get the young guys some experience as far as playing in front of this audience here. And uh, uh, we feel we're ready coming back into the house here. Hey, thought to them bringing up eight sacks, uh, pretty uh, you know, good defensive lineup. Oh, definitely. I mean, this this team is stacked up front. I mean, you know, with uh, Fred Perry and Scott Schultz. But I tell you, the guy who's probably impressed me the most has been Chunky Marcus Adams. I mean, he's been doing a great job as far as uh, allowing Scott and Fred to stay single team because uh, he's been getting good penetration. Whether it was against BC in the first preseason game against us or against Montreal, he's been doing a, been doing a great job. So, uh, you know, the thing is, uh, I'm confident in my guys up front, though. You know, with Bobby and Kami back in the fold, uh, you know, we feel we have, uh, uh, if not the best uh, line, I feel we have the, the best line, the most physical line in the league. Uh, but again, a lot of people uh, are sitting back waiting to see what these guys are going to do. But, you know, again, if we we're able to sustain those guys along with Reggie and Lloyd Blitzen, uh, we're able to uh, get after that young secondary of theirs. Uh, that's something that's hard to do because Richie, uh, you know, does a great job of hide, hiding those guys back there. But if we can get after those guys and try to make some things happen, uh, you know, with the talent we have, we feel good about our chances.